Today, we are bringing you part two of the Soft Hackles video from Brent Schlenker. Brent outlines some great tips and techniques to help you either as a beginner or advanced angler and fly tire. The flies selected in this video have been very successful and have been proven by some of the best anglers on freshwater and saltwater. Our first fly has lots of movement and color variations. This tie has been used for years with Brent and Diane's Jig Tactics line of products and has had an overwhelming popularity with drift fishermen. We are tying on a Gamakatsu T10 size 1 hook. 6 out red thread. Body is wrapped with UV polar chenille and enveloped with purple isabu. The collar is marabou spay hackle in purple, hot pink and chartreuse, and finished with a few strands of purple mirage flashabu. Good day, everyone, and uh, welcome to the second part of our tying soft hackles. Here's a great little uh, soft tackle fly for steelhead, uh, the popsicle. It's been around a long time. Great producer. I tie my marabou in a little bit different. It swims really, really well. We've done lots of these in uh, uh, jigs, uh, this type of fly. So I just want to show you here I'll, what I do to store them. They're pretty bushy, so to store them in your box, I just take a soda straw. Uh, good lace. You slip it over the top. Throw it in your fly box and it stays nice and neat. Doesn't get all tangled up in there. Okay, I'm going to come in here on this one. I'm going to tie an icicle. It's a little variation of that uh, popsicle fly. And uh, get started here. I'm going to go and just use a size one. We'll go a little larger on this one. Coming about halfway up the shank. I'm going to grab some of this purple isabu. You can use crystal flash, uh, whatever you wish. But I, a lot of times I prefer the uh, really breathable, soft materials always. I'll tie that on each side. I don't want it to, I don't want to blunt let that trail out the back. That'll that'll swing in the current. You can always shorten that up if you want. Um, okay. Then I'll just come in here. Uh, this is some UV polar chenille and UV pearl. Wrap that up for my body. Gives it a nice undertone here. We, I like to put most of my flash under the body of a lot of my patterns. I'll just swoop that back as I go. And I'm going to leave some room here for my marabou. And that'll, you'll see that underneath really nice. And that UV is really good. Okay. Now we'll come in with a spay marabou. This is actually a selected spay popsicle marabou. Comes in different companies sell it. It's all selected. Got a nice thin stem on it, as you can see. And uh, what I want to do here, the trick of tying this marabou in is, is getting that stem tied in where it's thick as possible, but it'll still bend around the shank. Okay, so I want to come in at an angle at a straight 40 or 90 degree off the shank. Tie it straight down. Okay. And then I'll just grab my feather here and preen it back as we go. Get my, my thread out of the way. And just keep going back, taking it back as we go. You can put a hackle plier on here if you wish. I just, a lot of, I, sometimes I use it. Probably the next ones are going to get a little shorter, so I'll use a hackle player on there. Yeah, here's one. And uh, so that allows the hackle to flare out really nice, and it swims very well. So then I'll come in with a hot pink, and you'll see as its stem is pretty thick here, a little bit too thick to go around the shank. It wouldn't, it wouldn't bend around there. And then I'll just do this one at a 90. Very important you do that. Get my hackle player. Whoop. We tied. Not we, when I say we, Diane and her 
some of our tires, they did a series of jigs called Jig Tactics that we were selling lots. And this icicle fly was a was a very productive fly. And it was on tight on a jig head, but boy, I'll tell you, it was really gained a reputation. BC, Washington, Oregon, and it went into Alaska. We had to actually sell it. We couldn't couldn't provide to and tie enough. So I ended up selling it to a manufacturer. But nice little bug right there. It's come along really good. And I could tie that right off if I want to go there. And if you want to just give it a little dress, here's a nice little short little spay. Uh, it's got some kind of poor ones on the bottom here, but you'll see the the, the stem here is pretty thick. I want to cut right up in here, get rid of that junk down there anyway. And then you can, so you can stack these up. And if you want, that kind of gets you in your way, you know, just put one of those soda straws on there first. I guess you could do that. I never do it, but. And then the little chartreuse one on the front, just to give it a little bit of a accent. Nice thing about tying your own flies, you can mix your colors up how you want. That's great. I like tying these salmon flies, they're a lot of fun because they're so pretty. Lots of different colors and, and they catch fish. So there's a three color fly right there, but it really, really swims. I can't express. And if you're tying flies, and main thing is, folks, you know, you look at them on the vise and think they look real good. And I've had this happen to me more times than not, is I think you really got a nice fly and it's going to work really well. And then I'll, I'll swim it in the water and have a look at it. And uh, I used to live right on the river there in the Columbia, right the headwaters. And I was a really good place to test drive a lot of flies. And, and uh, boy, there's some, once you look at them in the water, they just don't swim right or something. Uh, doesn't work, but so the the action and the the breathability is really key. And if you want, you can just add a little flashaboo on the front or on the sides, I should say. It's a nice soft flash. Uh, we'll just come in on this side. I'll come in on that side, and then I'm just going to tie it off. We'll finish that. Happiness is finding all your stuff. I just cleaned my desk and I threw it all in one pile. So that wasn't really cleaning it. Oop. Get rid of this flash of boots in my way. I couldn't see it. Make sure all your materials are preened back. And if, if you don't like tying that way, use a half hitch tool. You can push your materials out of the way when you do a couple of with a half hitch tool and I'll just trim off some of this long fibers. I, I let it come out the back a little bit but there it is it's my icicle and uh, put some UV on the head of that make it look real pretty and uh, make it more durable but it really really breathes in the water well and and uh, fish are all over this one so thanks again for watching we'll uh, get on to the next one The next fly is another creation of Brent's that is a simple to tie spay hackle. This is a dependable fly for summer run steelhead. Brent is tying this fly on a Gamakatsu T10 size 4 hook and using fluorescent red thread. The body is silver metallic braid. The hackle is Angora goat spun in a wire brush. The wing is white calf tail and the throat is natural guinea hackle. Well, good day, folks. Here we are with our second fly on the bench for. Soft hackles, it's really not going to have much hackle involvement here, but I'm going to show you another, I just got to get this on center, get this uh, little different technique for you here. I think I've, I've shown it one time, but I just want to bring it to you again. I got a uh, size 4 Gamma Gatsu T10 hook in the vise. I've got some uh, Goudron Pearl body going on top here. 
stay a long ways back from the eye on this fly for now. Okay, I'll get that done. Then we'll get some such small silver wire. Fairly long piece. I needed to go over the end of my tying, my dubbing uh, table. I just want to tie that in, catch that in, and then I'll just fold it back over itself so it doesn't pull out. Throw a half hitch in there. Then we'll just get our dubbing table laid out. Now for our spay ackle, I'm going to be using some Angora Goat. This is in Dunn. Very nice gray color. Get these fibers sticking out. Work on that a little bit. Just pull them, maybe get a little more out of the bag and then you can just pull these fibers out nice and long. That's one thing about the African Goat. It's got nice long fibers, nice and thin little flies. Then I'll bring in some of this UV2 Celex and this sand color. We'll just do the same. We'll get a few fibers right on the front there just to give her a little make her a little more exciting. You can change, you can go three colors in the body, do whatever you like. That's the technique. Then I'll just come over the top like with my wire and then reverse wrap it. I'll stain back quite a ways from the eye on this for a reason. I'm going to wrap that wire back over itself. and that's pretty tight on there. Now I'll just get my good heavy uh, brush, nylon brush. Get these fibers off the side. So I do this with a lot of flies. I like that method. I'm going to pull, the, pull these fibers back and then get my wire comes over the top. Makes it really durable. I'm um, back into the uh, hackle here, and I'm just going to uh, work this back as I wind it forward. Make sure I just tease it back. And I'm going to brush it one more time. A little unruly yet. We're not quite done. Now we get the pink showing up here at the front. Just give a little bit of an accent, and I'll tie that off. Make sure you tie this. Always take extra turns on these flies. Don't, don't, and lean on your thread. Just go before it breaks. Just make sure you know what your pressure to put on whatever thread you're using. Don't be afraid to use pressure. I get all my fibers out. There shouldn't be anything trapped. I'll grab my uh, brush again. Come in here. Preen these back. And that looks pretty good for a spayhack, in my opinion. Something here didn't quite lay totally right. Once you get it in the water, it'll really look good. But that's a nice uh, little spay, little spay fly body right there, isn't it? I think you'll like that. And it's very durable, and uh, sometimes these spay hackles are hard to get and hard to work with. But it's that one there just don't seem to look right. Okay. Well, then I'll just come in a little calf tail for the wing. I'll stack that. You can actually just grab it by the tips, pull the bottom out, and then you should have a pretty nice little clump right there. And I'll just clip that off, tie it up at an angle. This thread I've got a little slippery, I want. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie that thread off. I like straight six aught waxed thread. And I got some in bright orange right in front of me here, which is fine. Now we'll get that hair again. Later at an angle. And that doesn't slip out of that, that thread at all. Okay, got that tied down. I'm going to put a little uh, UV in there, it's going to run right in there. I've been a war, uh, it looks like a rogue hair that got in there. Then I'll bring in some guinea fowl for the for the throat. Get a nice pinch off the side. There we 
Here again, we'll just clip that off, tip it up, just lay it in there by the butts. I'm back from my uh, eye quite a ways. Important you leave room to get a nice knot on there. I like using an improved turtle knot on there. Just get that fly tracking behind your your leader. You can see a little bit of that pink. You'll probably see that pink show up a little more in the water, I would say, than even on dry on the on the vice. But it's pretty pretty cool little fly, I think. And I'll just bring in some uh, UV here just to uh, finish. Uh, securing that fly, I'll give it a good coat of uh, bone dry and I let that run right into the hair. Give it a good shot up there because that hair can pull out on you. We want to make sure everything stays together. So there it is. White's a good color, one of my favorites. I've caught a lot of steelhead on white flies. I'll be doing another video here of one that really really produced well with some other material you'll see it in this video see some of these fibers are a little bit caught up you just play with it again just get everything back where you're happy with it there we go that's better there it is nice little african goat spay the squirrel enticer fly is a steady producer and can be tied in a wide array of color combinations. Brent has had amazing results with any of the enticer series of flies. The simplicity of this fly should not be overlooked. The fly is tied on a Gamakatsu T10 size 8 hook and wrapped with light olive thread. The tail and collar are guard hairs from a dark olive squirrel hide. The body is wrapped yellow jelly rope and the thorax is semi-seal. Just a quick note, Brent likes using the Daichi 1530 on this fly. Well, folks, here we have another uh, unusual wet fly for you. Uh, I'm going to tie it on a size 8 Gamagatsu T10. I have them in front of me here. You can tie them up on a traditional trout hook as well. I'm uh, going to be using some this nice light olive thread. Press the shank of our body so nothing slips around. The uh, tail, I'm just going to take some of this pine squirrel here and dye it olive. Tie that tail in right about there. And we'll come forward. This is a, you know, a fluorescent uh, chartreuse jelly rope. Rope jelly or something I think they called it. The bag isn't marked anymore but I can pull that down pretty tight. It's a pretty cool material. You can use any material you like on here. Nice and bright. There we go. Make sure that tied right down, but it really, really bounced the light off. It's really cool brighter than anything that other uh, stuff I was using so put that on there here's some uh, hairline semi seal dubbing now the locked and loading this is a little different it's a little um, little longer fibers anyway I want to bring in some silver extra fine wire here tie that in for the collar Make sure you check that wire I'm going to pull out. Then I'll bring in my dubbing table. I'll just put that in sideways. Get my. Now I want to put this in as an under collar that uh, semi seal I just showed you. A little bit of that underneath. Then the collar I'm going to make it with the uh, squirrel again. That's good long. This is the larger squirrel in the. Yeah, okay, so it's got nice, nice long hair. Get that under fur out, and then just lay it on top. With the butts just over the thread. 
and always put a little extra on and it's got those hairs picked out really nice and thin there nice guard hairs and I should get some dubbing wax in the loop here because when you're working with those hairs they get a little bit slippery the dubbing wax will hold everything into place put a little on your wire Put the thread over top. Reverse, turn this in reverse. Take it slow to start with, and then that nice collar coming up there. It's going to look really good. And where is my toothbrush? You don't need too heavy a brush on this one. And then we'll come in here to our thorax. And that'll be our dubbing that's on there nice gonna lay back over that body really good and then we just work these fibers pull them back as we go nice soft tackle created with the squirrel hair cut that off the side come in the front here clean that head up a little bit get a nice little head going there and find my whip finish there I put it over this side a little dab of head cement on that head so it doesn't come off it'll come apart that's a bright little fly right there nicely uh, tied for you good collar when you do it in those brushes like I'm showing you there that uh, kind of a offshoot of my enticer series really is what that is all done with squirrel so there it is the collar is coming out right to the point of the barb or the hook and uh, there you go that'll definitely turn some heads for you so give that one on the vise give that a try try it in many different colors get some of this nice squirrel here it's got the long hair on it for that you see it's some really there's other squirrel hair that is very very short you can use on small nymphs but that's a really nice color and big one so all of it is a very popular color and of course chartreuse so you see that anywhere that's a very visible color for any any trout so and steelhead I, i'd throw that for steelhead for sure okay thanks a lot well uh hope that'll help you a little bit get some fish in the net for you let's go on to the next one the carry special has been around for many years and a favorite of many lake anglers Brent has made a few modifications on this pattern that may worth trying on your next trip. The fly is tied on a Deichi 1530 size 6 hook and using light olive 6 aught thread. The tail and collar is dark olive pheasant rump hackle. The body is Arizona synthetic peacock and peacock color and ribbed with gold wire. The wing is highlighted with olive crystal flash.
Brent has added some cool new materials into this old favorite. I would strongly suggest you tie some of these up for your favorite fish. This fly has been well proven on several species we have fished over. Brent is tying this fly on a Gamakatsu T10 size 4 hook and wrapping with red 6 aught tying thread. The tail and collar is cross cut rabbit strip and ginger variant color. The body is gold metallic braid. The under collar is UV2 CLX and olive brown.
Brent's new version of the Popsicle is a great looking fly that will get you hooked up with your favorite big game fish on a fly rod. The color and the pulsating movement of this fly is hard to resist. The hook is a Dairiki 930 size 2 aught. Brent is using a 3 aught red tying thread underbody and using some easy pearl body material. The body has some Mirage Opal Polar Flash wrapped over top. The collar is a wire brush with craft fur in fluorescent orange, chartreuse, white, and also some hot pink Arctic fox hair. Let's go to the bench with Brent. Oh, well, good day. Here's our uh, final fly of the series here for the soft tackles. Today we're going to tie up a big predator fly here. Got a size 2 watt. Dairiki saltwater hook in here. Six, three aught red thread. Dress the shank. Come in here with some easy body natural pearl. For the body. I'm just going to measure that out about where I want it. Get my tie in point right above, right there. This. This is really good mylar too. This really doesn't break apart on you. Very strong. Come in around the back. Tie it down. Now I need my long reach. Hook finish. Then I'll put some UV on that. Make that a little stronger. I won't bore you with that. Then we'll come to the front. I'm going to tie back quite a ways here. We got we got a little bit going on in the front. That creates a nice little bubble. That's pretty cool. But this is the uh, Spirit River Easy Body, so make sure you look at that. It doesn't fall apart. That stays. It's very nice to work with. Just to give them a little plug, but that's good stuff. I don't promote any particular brands anymore. I just use what I use. I got my reasons, so I use what I use. Everybody makes good stuff. They're all good. Everybody deserves a place in this game. Put some small silver wire on here now. I'm going to get a half hitch on here. Now we're going to just bring in our dubbing table. A long way through. Now we're gonna do some multitudes of colors. Let's go in here first with a orange. This is kind of a nice light colored orange. Make sure we get the, the fibers out of the bottom. You can mix these colors up however you like. Then I'll come in here with some chartreuse. Craft fur, take a couple little clumps of that. I'll just give you the idea here. You can, you'll see what's going on. You can do this however you like. Many different colors and options for sure. I gotta get this up closer because I'm gonna start right there. There's nothing. We're going to start right in and work business. I'm not going to wait. Okay, and I'm going to bring in some white craft fur, extra select. It's long craft fur. If you're tying shorter ones, you can just use a regular craft fur. The select is really long. It's really nice. I mean, for this kind of fly right here, I'm doing it's what you want. It's going to turn some heads of some predators, this guy. Oops, something sticking on my fingers there, kind of interfering with my business. Now, just on the front collar, I'm just for a little accent. I'm going to add uh, this is a, a Arctic fox tail. And just grab a little bit of that hot pink. Grab some of the nice long fibers back in here. I just wanted to throw this in the mix for you just because you need, I haven't showed it to you yet, and that's it's a really, really nice material. 
So this is going to be almost like the chicken, electric chicken color, if you really want to know a great, great coloration, except it doesn't have the, the orange. I'm just putting that in there just for giggles. Now we'll uh, bring in some dubbing wax. going to have to wax this wire all the way up. You don't want to lose it, lose your materials now while we work this hard to get them on there. Bring the wax over the, or the waxed, uh, We start running our dubbing here. Our brush, work it backwards. If you don't have this, you can get a dubbing block or you can make them. They're quite easily, not a lot to them. And uh, start brushing this out. See, I've got a little clump of my white left me. Okay, I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit more. We'll come in right at the rear. And I'm going to just going to pull this in. And another thing you can do right here, which I'm going to do on this fly for you, is this. I just got to tell you, this uh, Mirage Opal Polar Flash is my favorite flashaboo, bar none. And I should have tied that on before I got into the, the other material, but I'll sneak that on right now for you. I forgot about it. That is really a, a very, very nice material. I'll just get that in there right now. So that orange, I might not see as much as I wanted. I'm going to push this in pretty tight. Now I've got a little more room. Fold this back. Got a little bit of white's coming in there. That's going to be all right. Grab me a little hair packer here. Oh, need a little bigger one. Here's the biggest one. Let's get that for this light. That'll save you. Ruining some fingers on these sharp saltwater hooks. Which I just did again. But here comes the pink and the Arctic Fox. It's a little more spiky. It doesn't breathe as much, but it's going to push some water. It's going to be really nice. I'm just going to tie that wire off right now. Get a bit of a head going in here. We can put some head cement or I'll put some UV on there. That really holds the best. Get my whip finish. Get our UV. Where's my little needle? I want to pry everything out. See how that flash underneath just pops. Really looks good. I'm going to spend a little time getting these worked out. I've, I've folded them pretty good, but if I can get a few more out, standing out, that's good. But you can see the possibilities of this one, eh? different colors and size and so forth. But boy, it's a... Any predator at all will eat that, guaranteed. Put some UV on here. All the way around. Let's use my bone dry like that. A really nice finish. Now I'll get my torch. There it is. Hit that. Beautiful color. And that uh, white chartreuse and hot pink, uh, it's an electric chicken color, is what that is. And boy, it's deadly. I've used that just about anywhere. I've, I've seen that really the first time I've seen it was on lures. You see a lot of lures with that. And, uh, Especially in the salt water. But there's a fly that wouldn't be that hard to throw with a 8 weight or a 10 weight. Well, a 10 weight would be really easy to throw, but a, an 8 weight rod may have no issues at all. And uh, really, really nice push a lot of water, too. So, anyway, that's the uh, final fly in our little series here of the soft tackles. I appreciate their input, and people recommended uh, that little video for us. So, I'll. Uh,
Anytime you got any suggestions, send them on in to us. See what we can do for you. Thanks for watching. We tight lines and uh, all the best in the water this season. I wish you guys all the best. And gals. Don't forget about the gals. Have a great day. Thanks again to Brent for sharing these great flies with us today. We appreciate any suggestions or feedback. Thanks for joining us today and make sure to visit us online or on our YouTube channel. There is an endless array of fly fishing videos, tips from the pros and hundreds of tying demos from our pro team for you to enjoy.